In this next solo on Dante for Marimba, we're going to practice some slow concepts. These are things you've already learned before, but I just want you to relax and play some of these double verticals and single independent strokes in a nice slow and fluid motion. Watch the video of me playing it a lot. I look nice and relaxed and nothing is jerky or sudden. There's really only two concepts that I want to pick up on a little bit. The first one is the indication of a slur marking. Sometimes a slur marking is hard to decipher on percussion instruments, but you're going to see that indication more and more in your music. What that indicates is not necessarily the same thing that a wind player understands it as, but rather kind of a connection of the melody. You'll hear me crescendo and decrescendo in each of the passages with the slur marking. And I just want you to think of it as a connection. Try and connect those pieces more in your mind than with duration on the marimba. It's more of a thought process that will come through in your playing. The second concept that I want to talk about with this piece is just a technical one. This is the mirror motion that is required with this piece. Several measures in here require your hands to separate and come back in. You're going to have to use your peripheral vision. Because of the distance that your mallets separate, you're not going to be able to look at the notes on mallets one and four. So try and focus straight ahead of you and use that peripheral vision to make sure you're playing the right notes. The easiest thing will simply be to lock that interval, whether it's a sixth, a fifth, or a third, and don't let it expand or contract. If you have a sixth, as in measure six, just make sure it's a solid double vertical and you play the exact same interval as you move up and down that passage. There are several passages like this in this piece, and that's what makes it the most complicated. Thank you. 